Royalty in Philadelphia's East Falls tonight. Monica's Prince Albert was among those at a gala celebrating the renovation of a home where his mother, Grace Kelly, once lived. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandria Hoff has more. Prince Albert arrived to 3901 Henry Avenue with no shortage of royal fanfare. Figured we'd get a front row seat here. Greeted by members of the Kelly family, the prince stood by as a blessing to the home was given. Peace to this household. Before the labor of love was officially unveiled. Princess Grace's childhood home here in East Falls was built in the mid-1920s. Last year, her son, Prince Albert of Monaco, purchased the property. It has since been lovingly restored to its former state of grace. It was, uh, it was incredible and, and very emotional, of course, but uh, my cousins did such a great job. The restorations were not without challenges, as family members who headed the project were left to deal with disrepair left by a former resident who purchased the property in 1973. About a year and a half of, of a lot of work, but it was fascinating and it was really a very sentimental exercise to do. Grace Kelly left the home at 20 years old, bound for Hollywood, but the property remained a warm gathering spot for much of her life. This was a place where all of us came. We were all, uh, you know, as a cousin, uh, spruced up, scrubbed up. Now the home has undergone the same treatment. From here forth, it will be utilized largely as a regional headquarters for both the Prince's Environmental Foundation and for the Princess Grace Foundation, which was started soon after her sudden death in 1982. So coming back here and celebrating the restoration of the house is coming full circle. With that, the story of this home becomes a story about a son and a mother who he holds dear. I hope she'd be she'd be proud and that she'd be uh, happy that it would that it stays in the family and that and that uh, those memories that that she had and that she passed on to us will we will be able to pass on to, to the next generation as well. Reporting in East Falls, Alexandria Hoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News.